Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Bold and beautiful preview. After Poppy makes a shocking confession, she and Bill have a terrifying encounter. In the latest, the bold and the beautiful preview for July 29, August 2, someone might not be making it to Monte Carlo. Read on and watch the preview below. Last week, Ridge reminded Brooke the summit in Monte Carlo was coming up, and it would be the perfect place to relaunch her career. He finally convinced her once again to be the face of Brooke's bedroom line. Of course, the news came as a shock to Steffi who was looking forward to spending some Logan-free time with her dad at the summit. Coming up, it looks like Steffi might not be spending any time with her father at the summit. At the airport, Steffi realizes she doesn't have her passport on her. Meanwhile, Ridge and Brooke laugh and giggle on the plane to Monaco, and we see a flyover of the beautiful Monte Carlo. Katie continued to suspect something was up with Poppy, and a colossal confrontation ended with Katie accusing Poppy of being the one to murder Tom. Coming up, Katie rants to RJ, This doesn't make sense, I don't trust her. After Katie's accusation, it appears Poppy decides to get something off her chest. Bill asks Poppy what she is talking about. Poppy cries, Tom was claiming to be Luma's father. You'll have to tune in next week to find out how they go from that confession to Poppy and Bill getting passionate in bed. However, as they are getting intimate, someone sneaks in on them. Poppy looks up and screams as Bill turns to see who it is. Could it be the recently released Shyla, who isn't Tom and Hollis killer after all? Is it Katie coming to throw more accusations at Poppy, or could it be the real killer coming for them? The cool Los Angeles breeze blew softly through the Forrester mansion, where an unexpected confession was about to send shockwaves through the lives of the bold and the beautiful's elite. Poppy, a recent addition to the drama-laden landscape, had secrets buried deep, secrets that, if revealed, could dismantle the fragile peace among the Foresters, Spencers, and Logans. The scene was set in the opulent Forester living room, with its grand chandeliers casting a warm glow over the pristine white furniture. Poppy stood near the fireplace, her delicate features shadowed by the flickering flames. Her heart raced as she prepared to divulge a truth she had long kept hidden. Bill Spencer, with his rugged charm and piercing blue eyes, watched her intently. He had always been a man of action, and the anticipation of what Poppy might reveal was almost too much to bear. Poppy Bill's voice was a low rumble. Whatever it is, just say it. We've all kept secrets, but if it's something that affects my family, I need to know. Poppy took a deep breath, her fingers trembling as she clutched a small, crumpled photograph in her hand. She looked up, meeting Bill's gaze, and for a moment she saw a flicker of something in his eyes. Was it concern or perhaps fear? She wasn't sure, but it gave her the strength to continue. Bill, she began, her voice barely above a whisper. This isn't easy for me to say, but it's something you need to hear. Years ago, when I first came to Los Angeles, I was involved in something, something terrible. Bill's eyes narrowed, his curiosity peaked go on. There was an incident, Poppy said, her voice breaking. A man died and it wasn't an accident. I, I was there, Bill. I saw everything, but I was too scared to come forward. Bill's mind raced. In his world, power and secrets went hand in hand, but this was different. This was Poppy, the woman who had captured his heart in ways he hadn't thought possible. He took a step closer, his tone softening. What happened, Poppy? Who was this man? Poppy's eyes filled with tears. His name was Robert, Robert Fields. He was a private investigator, and he had information that could ruin lives. He had dirt on everyone, Bill. Everyone. He confronted me one night, said he had evidence linking me to a crime I didn't commit. He wanted money, or he'd go to the police. Bill's jaw tightened. Blackmail was a game he knew all too well, but this was different. This was Poppy's life hanging in the balance. Did you give him the money? Poppy shook her head. I didn't have it. I panicked and when I tried to leave, there was a struggle. He fell, hit his head. There was so much blood. I thought he was dead. I ran Bill. I ran and never looked back. Bill was silent, processing the weight of her confession. And now, 
Why tell me this now? Because, Poppy said, her voice firming up. I received a message this morning. Someone knows, Bill. Someone knows what happened, and they're coming for me. A cold shiver ran down Bill's spine. In his world, threats were real and they were always dangerous. Do you know who it is? Poppy shook her head. No, but the message was clear. They want me to pay for what happened and they're not going to stop until they get what they want. Bill moved closer, taking Poppy's hands in his. We're going to figure this out, Poppy. You're not alone in this. As the sun began to set over Los Angeles, casting long shadows through the Forrester mansion, a sense of dread settled over the room. The serene exterior of the sprawling estate belied the turmoil brewing within. Bill and Poppy decided to head to his private residence, a place where they could think and strategize away from prying eyes. Bill's mansion, perched high on a hill with sweeping views of the city, was a fortress. It was here, in this secluded sanctuary, that they hoped to find some semblance of safety. The drive was tense, the silence between them filled with unspoken fears and unanswered questions. As they arrived, the gates closed behind them with a finality that seemed almost ominous. Bill led Poppy inside, where the high ceilings and modern decor did little to soothe their frayed nerves. He poured them both a drink, the amber liquid in their glasses reflecting the dim light of the room. We need to think logically, Bill said, handing Poppy her drink. Who would benefit from bringing this up now? Who knew about your involvement with Robert Fields? Poppy took a sip, trying to steady her trembling hands. I don't know, Bill. It could be anyone. I was so careful, but someone must have seen something, heard something. Bill paced the room, his mind racing through the possibilities. We need to get ahead of this, I'll make some calls, see if I can find out who's behind this. But we have to be careful. Whoever it is, they know how to play the game. Just as Bill reached for his phone, the lights flickered. A sudden sharp sound shattered the silence, a window breaking. Bill's instincts kicked in immediately. Stay here, he ordered Poppy, grabbing a nearby poker as he moved towards the noise. Poppy's heart pounded in her chest as she watched Bill disappear into the darkness. Moments later, she heard the unmistakable sounds of a struggle, followed by a chilling silence. Panic surged through her as she crept towards the source of the commotion. When she reached the room, the sight before her was a nightmare. Bill was on the floor, unconscious, a figure standing over him. The intruder turned and Poppy's breath caught in her throat. It was someone she recognized, a face from her past, twisted with rage and hatred. You thought you could run, Poppy, the intruder hissed, stepping closer. But you can't escape the past, it's time to pay for what you did. Poppy backed away, her mind racing. She had to find a way to get to Bill, to help him. But the intruder was closing in a menacing glint in their eyes. In a desperate bid for survival, Poppy grabbed a vase from a nearby table and hurled it at the figure, buying herself a precious few seconds. She knelt beside Bill, shaking him. Bill, please, wake up. We need to get out of here. Bill groaned, slowly coming to. He looked up at Poppy, his vision clearing. Poppy, run, he rasped. Get help. But Poppy couldn't leave him. She helped him to his feet, supporting his weight as they moved towards the door. The intruder was recovering, and they didn't have much time. As they stumbled through the hallway, the realization hit Poppy. This was just the beginning. The past had finally caught up with her, and the fight for their lives was far from over. With Bill leaning heavily on her, Poppy knew one thing for certain— she would do whatever it took to protect him, to protect them both. The road ahead was uncertain and fraught with danger, but together, they would face whatever came their way. The bold and the beautiful had never been more aptly named, for in the face of terror, their courage and resilience would be tested like never before.